Hi, and thanks for joining us for one of Family Marine's videos. My name's Tom, and uh, today we're back in the shop, and we're going to do a video on a brand new boat that we just got in. We just got it finished assembling it. And uh, for many of you who are not familiar with Barletta Pontoons, a relatively new company built down just outside Elkhart, Indiana. And boy, I tell you, these things are absolutely positively remarkable. Uh, I'm going to show you some things in this video today that you may or may not uh, believe what I have to say, but I'm here to say don't judge a Barletta by this video, by pictures on the internet, brochures, videos, whatever. You got to go to a dealer. You got to see these things in person because it's amazing how much difference there is seeing this boat in person versus looking at it in pictures or videos. So, with that being said, um, oh, by the way, uh, if you're interested in purchasing a new pontoon and would like to learn more about what your wants and needs might be, how big a pontoon you need, how big a motor you need, uh, whether you want sea legs or a trailer, what kind of seating arrangement, things like that, go to our YouTube channel and in the search bar type in Family Marine Wilmer and you'll see our icon. Click on our icon and that'll bring you to our home page and the top row of videos is titled Valuable Buyer Information. There's a plethora of videos in there to help teach you what might work the best for your needs. So check us out on YouTube. Okay, so the model that we're going to be talking about today is a Barletta L25 UCA. Now Barletta makes three different levels of pontoons. They make the L class, which is their top shelf. They make an E and they make a C. So this is the L. The 25 represents that it's a 25-foot boat plus the extended swim platform, so the length overall on this boat is 27 and a half feet. And when we get to the back of the pontoon, I'll show you the extended swim platform. The U represents that it's an ultra lounge. Again, when we get inside, I'll show you what the ultra lounge is. The C represents it has a co-pilot's chair, which is the captain's chair, craftsman driver. Inside, I'll show you that. And the A represents that it has an arch. Some people call it a tower. Some people call it a roll bar. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's not a roll bar. <laughs> okay. Now, what we did was we ordered this boat in with a black and a gray accent. So the two-tone in the L series is standard. Yeah, you can get a monotone if you wanted an all-black boat. Yep, you can get that. If you wanted an all gray boat or blue or red, yes, you can get that. But a two-tone is no extra charge in this model. One of the options that we had added was what's called a blackout package. So the aluminum rails on the outside of the fencing, the rub rail, the skirting, the bimini, uh, the, the tower is all anodized black. All right, so that's a blackout package. Now, what you're seeing here is something that we added at Family Marine this is called a Vantage Protection Kit. And what it is, is a carbon graphite vinyl that we apply to the tubes with a rubber baby buggy bumper. <laughs> That's what we call it. Uh, it's a pontoon guard, is really what it is. So if you're up against the dock, it's gonna help prevent damage to your pontoons by this big, thick rubber pad that goes on the outside. So it's a pontoon guard. Now this film is available in many different colors. This happens to be a carbon, black carbon graphite appearing color. So as you can see, if you look down the side of the pontoon, oh my gosh, this is a really attractive kit that we've added on here. It just blends in with the boat so nicely. And we can add this to anybody's boat, whether it's new or used, it doesn't matter. Uh, again, it comes in different colors. There's three different colors of guard. There's black, there's gray, and there's white. And there's many different colors of vinyl. Okay, if you've ever been in a Barletta on the water, one of the things that you'll notice is the smoothest, quietest, most vibration-free pontoon I've ever been in. And that is a direct result of what's called VIP technology. So, what this is a sample of, this unit right here, is what's called a saddle bracket. And this saddle bracket is welded onto the top of the tube behind this skirting. So it's welded here, 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 and here. 
Okay, and then this is a crossbar that goes from one pontoon to the other. Now, if you notice, this is a double I-beam. The majority of the cross members in this pontoon are double I-beam, and this adds a, an immense amount of strength. Most companies are using what we call C-channel, which would be just this portion, right? It's shaped like a C, and then it's screwed or bolted to the top and bottom, where Barletta is using a double I-beam. That's massive, massive. Now, and then what they do on top of that is they add a rubber pad in between the double I-beam and the saddle bracket. And what that does is it reduces the amount of vibration being transferred from the tubes, saddle brackets, into the boat itself. Okay, VIP, vibration isolation pad. That's what that rubber pad is underneath there. So that's how we get such a smooth, vibration-free, quiet ride out of the Barletta's. Now, on the back of the pontoon, one of the big things that you'll notice is the huge extended swim platform on this pontoon. So when Barletta calls it a 25, they're measuring the tube, not the length overall. Many pontoon companies measure the length overall. As I mentioned earlier, this is a 27 and a half foot boat from here to the bow, where it's 25 from here to the bow. But look at the size of that massive swim platform, extended platform on the back of the pontoon. It's wonderful. Everybody is asking for these big platforms on their pontoons. Now, one of the options that we had added to this boat is what we call rear stainless steel safety stanchions. And when we get inside the boat and I show you the ultra lounge, you'll kind of understand why, if you, especially if you have little kids and you want them to be safe in the boat, we add the safety stanchions to the back of the pontoon. Now, these chains, of course, are quick disconnect so you can easily disconnect them and walk through there if you want. Underneath here is, I use this as an anchor storage compartment. Um, it's made for a Yeti Hopper 18 cooler. You can drop it down in there. But for me, it works great for a anchor storage locker. These are fender racks. So when you're not using your boat bumpers or your fenders, you store them in these racks so that they're easily accessible when you pull up to the dock. And then in between the center, uh, between the storage racks is our fill cap for our gas, a couple of cup holders. You can see our Skeeto bar. Skeeto bar is standard on this boat. And that little bracket up there is for a flag. And we'll show you that when we get inside. Now, the engine that's on here, um, not very big, is it? <laughs> this boat is available with the Mercury 200 horse V6, the 250 horse and the 300 horse V8, the 350 and the 400 horse supercharged, or this 400 horse racing engine. Um, so I can't imagine anybody needing more horsepower than what this pontoon has but maybe some of you do. Maybe you need twins, we don't know. A lot of times uh, people ask me, well, what motor do you have on your pontoon? Well, I never kiss and tell, but <laughs> that's the motor that's on my pontoon. Now, stainless steel deep reaching telescopic boarding ladder with the hinge points up high so it's easy to grab onto when you're on the boat. Underneath here, we had the option of the underwater lights, their LED lights. And that is part of a kit which also includes the under deck skirt lights. So there's LED lights running all the way up the side that will shine down on the tubes at night when you have your lights on. Okay, standard on the L-series are 26-inch diameter tubes. Now, obviously, this has the 26-inch diameter center tube. And you'll also notice that we have lifting strakes. So there's a set of lifting strakes on both sides of the center tube and a set on the inside of the outer tubes. And, of course, what those lifting strakes do is add lift to the pontoon to get the boat up on top of the water for better performance, better cornering, better fuel economy. Everything's better with lifting strakes. And those are a multi-stage lifting strake that help you corner better, higher, as you're going around the corner, much like a runabout. 
Okay, I wanted to have the cover on because I wanted to show you Barletta's J-Clips. The, instead of snaps like most companies use, and we've all struggled with those snaps over the year because they're hard to get on, they're hard to get off, they pull apart, they, pull, they rip the cover, things like that. So what Barletta has done is they've gone with these J-clips. And underneath this rail is a slot. Okay, so you pretty much easily stick the clip into the slot and push. Snaps in. Stick it in, push and push and it snaps in. Then to release it, you simply grab hold of that little tab right there and kind of squeeze it and it releases. So the cover is very, very easy to take on and off. Okay, so starting up in the bow of the Barletta, um, you'll notice that there's two great big forward facing chase lounge bench seats. Now, of course, there's storage underneath all the bench seats there's trash can storage under here. We have a nice trash can there. Um, the vinyl in the boats is a super soft, luxurious, loose um, uh, uh, incredible vinyl. Tucky, tucky stuff, you know. Uh, it's just super soft. Uh, it's stain resistant. It's uh, 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 ultraviolet light protectant. Uh, it's green product. Uh, if you know what that means, I'm not real up and up on that. Uh, it's just fabulous stuff, absolutely fabulous. And it's a soft touch vinyl, so it feels very, very luxurious. Um, you'll notice the flip up armrests on each Chase Lounge that we have. Oh my gosh, I think there's like 24 cup holders in this pontoon. Now in this particular pontoon, what we did was we added the RGB interior light package. So as you can see, there's a multitude of cup holders in here. Now we got the RGB set to change colors. Um, you can set it on one color, you can change colors. So we got lighted cup holders throughout the pontoon. We have interior lights down at the bottom of the seat bases. We have a USB jack, one over here. It's a dual jack, another one over here, also a dual jack. There's vents for the storage compartments down there. Now in this particular bolt, we did the gray upholstery. There's three different colors available. There's gray, there's tan, and there's beige. And then we did the black accents in the seats. Now you can also get this with all gray interior with black piping, or you can get it with black accents in the seats like we show here. Okay, so as I mentioned, this is an L25UC. The C represents the coal pilot's chair. Normally there would be a bench here. If it was just a U model, it would be a bench seat here with an aft facing chase lounge. In our part of the country, the gals are almost demanding that they have their own co-pilot's chair. They want to be able to swivel. They want to recline. They want to slide it back and forth. They want the armrests to pop up and down. More importantly, they want to be next to their husband. So we call this, excuse me, we call this the captain's chair and we call this her husband's chair. <laughs> Isn't that the truth sometimes? So, the C represents co-pilot's chair. Ahead of the co-pilot's chair is a little trap door. And this trap door is really neat because it turns into a table. Flip this out, twist it. You can lift this door up and there's two little legs. I won't do both of them. But you slide it down, you lengthen the leg, and now you have a nice table. You can set your cups on there. Uh, you could put a 12 volt blender on there. There's a variety of reasons to put your hors d'oeuvres on there that you could utilize this table. And it's very easy to use to store. When you're done, you just shorten the legs, clip them down into the rubber clips there, and close the door. Now, since I have this open, um, I wanted to show you the subwoofer. Subwoofer is mounted in the storage compartment. So what this means is this sound system in here has an amp and a subwoofer, all right? This particular model comes standard with six speakers plus an amp and a subwoofer. So the sound in here with this Hertz sound system is tremendous. Um, we could turn on the stereo and show you what it sounds like in this video, but you really can't get a good idea of what it sounds like unless you're here in person. 
Okay, um, next to the co-pilot's chair is this nice little cubby console. We've got a couple of cup holders in there. Again, they're lighted. Down here is another double USB jack so the wife can plug in her cell phone and charge it. And then here is a little storage net for putting things in there. Down in the floor of the boat is a huge ski storage locker. Now this locker is much larger than what the door indicates. Golly, it goes three feet up towards the front and a foot to the back. So I think this storage locker is like seven feet long. It's very deep. I could crawl down in there and lay in there. It's so deep. It's just huge. Um, this is really neat. A lot of people like this. Doggy dish, pet food tray. <laughs> if you bring your dog with you, now you can put some food in there. If you don't have a, a pet, that's a great place for car keys, wallets, sunglasses, things like that because it's out of the way. Since we're here, I want to point out something. Look at the massive amount of leg room that this council supplies. I'm here to tell you there are so many manufacturers out there that don't get this. The council comes down like right in here and there's no place to stretch your legs. Have you ever been on an airplane and you had to have the bag underneath the seat ahead of you and you got to sit there with your legs at a 90 degree angle for the duration of the flight? It's not fun. Being able to stretch your legs out is very, very nice to have. Here we have a glove box. Again, we could put important information in there. Here's our owner's manual. And what's nice about this is here's all of our circuit breakers for our accessories on the helm. Nice to have. Easy access for servicing. Okay, uh, again, part of the model number is an L25U. The U represents an ultra lounge. And this is what we call an ultra lounge. So the way that this is designed is we have a nice bench seat. We can get three adults in here. So as the captain and the co-pilot are sitting here, you have guests sitting here, you have this really nice conversation area. Everybody's close together, so you can hear each other. Often one of the things we hear from the guys is they say, Tom, you know, often people sit up front and I'm sitting here back here by myself and I can't hear the conversation. I'm not included in the conversation and I ultimately feel like a chauffeur. Well, I don't want to feel like a chauffeur. I want to be included in the conversation. So this is a great area to do that in. Plus, of course, it, it properly loads your boat. The weight of the boat, or the weight of the people in the boat should not be all up front because we all know that you could do a nosedive through a big wave, water coming up over the bow. Of course, the triple tune helps resist that. But having people in the back of the pontoon is a better weight distribution through your pontoon. Now, the reason they call it an ultra lounge is because you can flip this forward and now you have a big chase lounge facing out the back. So that's an awesome place for the people to lay, maybe watch the kids while they're out on the tube or the skis or whatever. All right. Then if you want, what you can do is grab hold of this, just one tug, and it lays all the way down for a big, I don't know, queen size, full size bed. I'm not exactly sure how big it is, but it's pretty big. And then of course, under here is a very large storage compartment. This happens to be our power steering pump. Okay, so these, any of these big motors, 200 horse on up, are going to come standard with power assist hydraulic steering, and that's the pump for that. A little bit of display stuff we have down in there for the uh, boat show coming up. So, storage there. Now, something new for 2020 is these seat cushions, you can flip these up and have them as a rear-facing bench seat. So let's say that you're at the sandbar and you're conversing with people around the back of the pontoon. It's easy to sit right here. We got cup holders, we could talk to everybody. It's very, very comfortable. That's awesome. Now, the other thing that we can do if we wanted is we can flip this bench seat for a forward-facing chase lounge. Isn't that sweet? There's functionality, there's versatility with this ultra lounge. Okay, down over here is a battery on-off switch. 
It's a three position, off battery number one and both. So this boat comes with two batteries, one for the starting engine battery and one for the house battery. All right. Now the nice thing about it is this little unit right here, it's called a VSR, a voltage sensitive relay. And what that does is it senses which of the two batteries need to be charged from the alternator on the engine and sends the current to that particular battery and not overcharging the other battery. So a VSR is very, very important to have. Oh, by the way, here's our rear gate. We do have a gate to close that off. All right, we have a transom stereo system. So we can control the stereo that's in a dash, and I'll show you that in a little bit, just by this unit right here. And then along the back, there's two rear-facing speakers. I mentioned earlier that we had the optional flagpole put on here. So this is removable. You can simply pull that pin and pop that right out of there. Okay, as I mentioned, this one has a arch or a tower. It is an electric up and down power tower. So down by the ignition switch is a key, is, excuse me, a switch that we simply push the button and the tower goes down and it'll come all the way down. So if you have a boat lift with a canopy, it's easy. All you have to do is hit this button and the tower goes down. Now you can drive your pontoon under, into your boat lift and under your canopy. Of course, getting it back up is just push the switch the opposite way and up it goes. As you can see underneath there, we have a RGB light and there's a couple of tweeters underneath there too. Now the bimini in here, if you took, took the boot off, it simply folds to the rear and it's like a 10 foot bimini top. I'm not going to demo it here for this video. You're going to have to come in and so I can demo it for you, okay? <laughs> uh, but it's easy to do. You just take your boot off, grab hold of it, fold it to the back, put your bars in, away you go. It's very, very easy to open up and close the bimini top. Okay, on the helm itself, um, first thing, we have a very, very attractive steering wheel. It's got some hand stitching in it, kind of a leather feel. Uh, very attractive steering wheel. This is a five position tilt wheel, so you can move it up and down as needed. We have some multi-gauges. Here we have a tachometer. Here we have a speedometer. Now down in here is a LCD screen, and this will give you a plethora of information about your engine on this LCD screen. I'm not going to turn it on now because if the engine isn't running, this thing sits and beeps and beeps and beeps and drives you crazy, all right? But you can toggle through different screens by using these two buttons down below. Now, this is our SIMRAD, seven inch SIMRAD. And a lot of the information that you see up here is duplicated down here. So we have a tack, we have a speedometer. Of course, these are GPS driven speedometers. We have a trim gauge. We have a digital readout of our speed down here. We have a gallon left in our gas tank. Speed over ground, we have a digital depth finder. We have fuel, we have time. We can change many of these screens to different things that we want all by going into settings. There's just a plethora of information that we can get out of this SIMRAD on this pontoon and on this motor. It's just amazing. We usually, this one isn't set up yet, for this particular engine, but when we sell it, we will set it up. And there's just tons and tons and tons of information that you can get out of this GPS. Now, I did say GPS, so if you go to chart, we're probably not gonna see anything in here right now because we're in a metal building. Um, yeah, this says we're in Wyoming somewhere. <laughs> or maybe not, there's Toledo, there's Elkhart, so we must be in Indiana or something like that. This is the border, there's Lansing, Michigan, Toledo, Ohio. Elkhart, Indiana, Fort Wayne, I see that. So obviously, because we're in a metal building, this isn't receiving GPS signal right now. But you can mark waypoints on there. Uh, just like any GPS that you have, it'll show you your tracks. It's just a wonderful piece of equipment to have. All of our lighted accessory switches, so our navigation lights, our courtesy lights, auxiliary switches, our docking lights, our floor lights, our bilge pump. This has two bilge pumps in it. One underneath down here by the ski locker and one just ahead of the engine. Over here is our Hertz sound system. I have it shut off right now, 
but this is AM FM Bluetooth. Up here is a jack that is tied to the stereo. So you can plug your cell phone in via a USB or an eighth inch jack and you can listen to your cell phone music off of the stereo system. Our control box is over there. Now, this particular engine is a digital throttle and shift. So that control box is very, very easy to use. It's very smooth. I love a digital DTS, digital throttle and shift. Here's our ignition switch. Here's our, can, our, 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 our tower up and down button. And there's a power outlet, just a 12 volt power outlet down there. So that's about it for the Barletta L25 UCA. Um, if you'd like any more information on it, please feel free to give us a call. Our phone number is area code 320-222-BOAT. That's 222-2628. Um, our website, if you want to check us out there, is familymarineboats.com. Um, of course, we're on Facebook. Everybody is. And, uh, but more importantly, go to YouTube. Check us out on YouTube. Oh, my gosh. I, I get so many compliments on the, a lot of the videos that we do, how we've helped people understand what their wants and needs are in a pontoon just by them watching our videos. Um, and I hope we helped you out with this one. I hope this is something that's desirable for you, that um, we could discuss this pontoon with you and maybe get you into it this summer. So thank you very much for watching.